So this is an elevator moving down at a constant velocity. Let's draw a little picture of this guy. So here it is, okay, at a constant velocity. So if we draw a motion diagram for this guy, okay, it's going to look like this. And I'm trying to draw those things. Um, I tried to draw those things so that they're evenly spaced. I didn't quite pull that off, but let's just you know pretend that I did. Okay, if we draw our velocities like this, it's moving down. So our velocity one is like that. Remember, it's a, it's a constant velocity. So the next velocity is the same length and the next velocity is the same length like that, okay? Now, there's two forces acting on this elevator, okay? One of the forces that's acting on the elevator is the cable, right? So the cable is exerting an upward force. I'll call that FC. And then the earth is drawing... A, is exerting a downward force. So here's the force that the Earth is exerting. And these guys are exactly equal. Here's why. The velocity is not changing. Remember, it's a constant speed. So these, if there is a if there is an unbalanced force, it has to accelerate. Okay. But since these forces are balanced, it's not accelerating. So so there it is. You've got an upward force. The cable is exerting an upward force. The earth exerts a downward force. It's equal, right? Uh, here we've got the same thing. We have the cable exerting an upward force the earth exerts a downward force. And these guys are also the same, the same force as that, assuming the, the, you know, the elevator doesn't change mass. And the same thing happens here, right? We've got the cable and we've got the earth, okay? The force of the cable, the force of the earth. They're, they're exactly the same. And that's the only way that it could, it, it could move at a constant speed. And the reason for that is that the um, acceleration of it is the net force over the mass. Well, if it's moving at a constant velocity, the acceleration is zero. That means, well, the mass is not zero, right? That, you know, okay. And that would, by the way, make it inf infinite, right? What has to be true is that the net force has to equal zero. This guy has to equal zero. And the way that it equals zero is that we've got uh, positive, the force that the cable is exerting minus the force that the earth exerts is zero. And the only way that that's zero is that if those are equal, okay? I don't know if I explain that well enough, but...